Hi, I'm going to show you how I used panels to make a custom page layout. In this particular site, we have a, a blog and we have the title and body, as you can tell by the titles going on there, and a MailChimp subscribe block and comments. Now, the layout I'm going to work on because on another page it was bleeding out so I'm looking into that but I'm going to show you some of the things I did because one of the challenges I had was getting this page title to show up <clears throat> so what I did is I searched search to no end online and this is Drupal 8 to be clear and there was codes there was it didn't seem like a lot of people covered this well I wanted to on a whim, I thought, well, Drupal 8 comes with tokens where you can install tokens. And with tokens, you use this type of code where it's brackets, node, colon, then title. And I thought, well, let's try that because this shouldn't be that hard. I come from a WordPress background where custom pages is, I would have had this done in five minutes. It's taken me three days just to figure this out. So using, what I do is I go to pages, and I have page manager installed, panelizer, and panels with the IPE, which is in page editors. Um, to, just to show you. I even tried twig tweak, which didn't work. So panels, panels IPE, both of them in, enabled. And then whereas panelizer I think they put it in a different spot is that my panelizer? oh there it is oh and layouts so anyways let's go back so we'll go to structure and I have the administrator toolbar which I am absolutely loving now um, it should just be default to be quite honest anyways so by default installation it creates this node view which work perfectly to me because this is exactly what it's going to do. It's handling any of the paths at node for slash and then uh, it's a bit of filter there for node ID. So what I did is I hit edit and I created a variant and since I've already done this um, I'll just show you the variant I created. Actually because I know what I did I'm going to delete this variant so I'm going to work a little bit backwards and show you exactly what I did. So I'm going to add variant and in this case I'm doing a single blog view. And then choose panels, selection criteria and context and click next. Here this seems fine to me, I didn't know what else to do here so I just moved on. Here I want content type, add condition, choose article because in this case I'm only customizing the articles. I could choose node bundle which I'm not sure what that does maybe it's the same thing anyways I chose content type request path current theme user role there's different conditions here you can play with depending on your site needs and then we do next and just for fun it did in place editor there's it could be because I have big pipe installed there's been some um, glitches but Anyways, we'll do next, and I chose one column for display suite, which is another thing I have installed. So from here, page title, this was the glitcher because I didn't want to just title this article or else every single one of these would say article, and that made no sense. So I figured, well, since tokens is there, let's try tokens because I was trying everything. So I did the token, which is bracket, node, colon, title, close bracket. And when I did that, and I hit finish, and I'm like, okay, hopefully this works. And then I did a refresh, and we have caching here. So, major, major, major caching. Could be mixed between the big pipe and... I am technically doing this on a live development site which is okay but if this was um, already set up with the dot com this is not the best thing to do 
Well, I've had to do this where um, it isn't necessarily catching what I'm doing. But anyways, once I did do that, I was, lo and behold, I saw my little birdie I CSS in there and the title. And I was just like, Eureka, seriously. After three days of trying to figure this out, it was driving me nuts. And I'm like, well, Drupal is super customizable. Why is this so hard? And it shouldn't be. I'm going to be honest. It shouldn't be. The, um, the one thing that could have helped this better, because tokens, or I have the token plugin installed, it would have been nice if there was a something here saying, token replacements very much like if I go to configuration and I am trying to change the URL aliases and I go to patterns so let's say I wanted to edit this pattern here browse available tokens if that was available that would have told me what I could use there to be honest um, that would have solved me three days worth of of digging figuring this out so from here I added my blocks which is pretty much um, uh, I have to figure out which comment section it is now okay well we'll do body display title and here you have to hide that or also show the double body update save Maybe it will take this time. My voice is a little off. I have a cold. And it did. And just like that. My little title. My blog content. And so from here because it's very typical for a blog to have a MailChimp subscribe. Or some form of subscription here. We have MailChimp. We'll do subscribe or whatever click the action I have to figure out which um, comment thing it is again and there we go like the biggest thing I wanted to do seriously I searched different styles of codes twig tweak but for some reason with the MailChimp block um, instead of showing a block using things like twig tweak um, it would just show the node content again. It would just repeat this content again for some reason. So this seems to be at this moment the only way using panels to display this block in line with content like this. And I mean it will display over here. But you have to show it through the block interface in no other way. Not even twig tweak seems to work which is interesting. Nevertheless um, even the fields they suggest fields um, I know I'm going a little around but I even added the field to the content type to try to render it and it just did the same thing repeated the node so anyways that is the sh <laughs> with, besides my little bunny trail there but that is how you can use panels to customize the layout of something as simple as a blog layout here um, that is, it's super cool I absolutely love it now I was getting frustrated till I discovered that I could use tokens as a page title that is super cool um, thank you for watching and hope you like this video have a good day